All right, Garrett, there we go. We got a place to be. <laughs> I love chili and I might go out to that, but today we're tracking a very calm morning out there in terms of rainfall and cloud cover. We're not seeing anything right now on our live cams. However, it is still pretty chilly out there with temperatures into the 30s and it's even below freezing into portions of Cape Girardeau and into Harrisburg and in Paducah. So it is fairly cold out there, but it's definitely not as cold as we were seeing yesterday. And some of us into far southeastern Missouri are still waking up to temperatures into the lower 40s. But when you factor in that wind chill, a lot of us are feeling like we are at or below freezing with a wind chill right now in Carbondale of 23, 31 in Harrisburg and 27 down in Sykes. And so it is a pretty chilly morning out there and I'm expecting things to get warmer as we go throughout the day. So that is good news there. But right now we're not seeing anything on our radar or in terms of cloud cover out there. So if you're headed out this morning, grab a coat, but you're not going to need it for very long because we are tracking warmer weather as we go throughout the afternoon and above average weather that will be within the region by the time we make it to Mon Sunday and Monday uh, to start the work weekend. If we take it hour by hour, we'll see our temperatures are going to get into the 40s by 9 o'clock and then into the upper 50s by the time we make it to 3 o'clock. Now, areas down towards the south into portions of southeastern Missouri and western Kentucky could see temperatures into the mid 60s, but I think a lot of us will be falling into the 50s by 6 and then into the 40s by the time we make it to about 9 o'clock. And I'm expecting partly cloudy skies throughout the morning and afternoon. By 9 o'clock, you can see that there's going to be a little bit more cloud cover, especially back towards our west into portions of Illinois and southeastern Missouri. And by dinner time, I think a lot of us are going to be mostly sunny. However, we're going to see waves of clouds as we go throughout the afternoon. As we get into the overnight hours, we could see a few stray showers around Mount Vernon and around Sparta, but I'm not expecting a widespread rainfall event. And to start the day tomorrow, I think a lot of us are going to be mostly or partly cloudy with mostly cloudy conditions down towards towards our south. And then by the time we make it to tomorrow afternoon, skies will be partly cloudy and tomorrow evening we could see a few isolated showers back towards our west start to work their way into the region. Tomorrow definitely won't be a washout, but you will notice warmer temperatures as we get into the afternoon with a high tomorrow of about 64 to 65 degrees. However, to start the day, I'm, I am expecting us to start the day into the 40s and that wind chill could take it for into the 30s and low 40s for a wind chill factor tomorrow morning. So be aware of that if you're headed out the door early. Saturday morning. Again, Sunday we're going to be seeing cooler or warmer temperatures with a high of about 68 and partly cloudy skies, but you'll notice that Sunday is going to be dry and we are only going to have that isolated shower chance on Saturday. And that warmer weather is really going to be sticking with us as we get into the start of the work week with temperatures into the lower 70s Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll be running about 8 to 10 degrees above average all three days to start the work week. Download that Storm Track 3 app because with the increased temperatures, we are also tracking some increased rain and shower chances as we get into the work week. So again, today I'm expecting us to make it to 59, 65 tomorrow and 68 by the time we make it to Sunday. Monday, I'm expecting us to get into the lower 70s and the lower 70s are going to be lingering on Tuesday and Wednesday. We could have some scattered thunderstorms on Wednesday. I'm not expecting anything severe right now, but a cold front is going to roll through and bring us right back down to the 50s.